So we're going to do some plotting integer values as well as comparing them. So on a number line, if we have our neutral point of zero and a positive value of one, we know all positive values go to the right, all negative values go to the left. So if I'm, I'm plotting these values on the number line, um, I start, I got a four and it's positive. Since I already have one, I'm going to go ahead and go two, three, four, plot my four and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 to know where those two are. And then when I work away from zero, the digits start small and get bigger. So I'm going to go with my smaller negative integer, which is negative 2. So I count down 2, put a negative 2 there, and then count down to 7. Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. And that's how my number line would look with those four values plotted. Now for these inequalities, I want to establish, are these inequality statements true? Is negative 2 less than 4? Yes, 4 is a greater value. If you're ever not sure, it's whatever the open side of the inequality is facing, it's the bigger number, basically. So this is true. And why? Because... Well, for starters, a positive is always more than a negative because a positive is greater than a negative. We can also refer to our number line that positive for any value located to the right of another one is worth more. So like if I'm comparing negative 7 and negative 2, I know that negative 2 has a greater value because it's located to the right on the number line. As we move to the right on the number line, our values always increase. When we move to the left, our values are always decreasing. So you can use that as an explanation as well. So if I have a negative 2 is less than negative 7, well, we might look, if it was, if they were positives, this would be true, but they're negatives. So the larger the negative, the less it's worth. So I would say uh, false, negative 7 is to the left of negative 2 on a number line. That works for me. So that's a way of, of proving it on the line. Then if I have positive 4 is greater than negative 7, yeah, that would be true. Okay, so uh, I use the positive is greater than the negative, so I'll just say 4 is located to the right of negative 7. And our last one, negative 7 is greater than negative 10. Nope. False. Negatives are less than positives, okay? In number three, it says that Andre says that one quarter is less than negative three-fourths because of the two numbers, one quarter is closer to zero. Is this true? Well, what do I know about positive versus negative numbers? I don't, it doesn't matter what the digits are. If one is positive, it is always, always greater than a negative. Having a penny is greater than owing $5. Penny's not much, but it's at least in the positive. So we would say no positives are always greater. Okay, we only care about the size when it's asking about the distance from zero. When it's just trying to say greater than or less than, if the signs are different, then that's what we care about. So for here, for question 4a, it's asking which one is greater, one quarter or five fourths? Well, I have a quarter versus, if I have five out of four pieces, that means I have more than a whole. One fourth is less than a whole, five fourths is more than a whole. Five pieces is more than one piece, and when the denominators are the same, then you compare their size by their numerators. So, we would say one fourth is less than five fourths. 
Then if we're asking further from zero, now it's about just the distance. It's still saying which one's further from zero. If I have a quarter, so if I'm one out of four marks away from zero or five out of four marks away from zero, which one is further? So if I just did this and say, okay, so say we have our denominator is four. So we're going to make one, two, three, four be our one whole, and we have four marks in between. One out of four is located here. Five marks out of four is located here. It's one mark past one. So which one is further from zero? Five fourths is, because it's past the one on the number line, one quarter is closer to zero. So five fourths. Now for 4C, I'm asking which is greater, negative 3 fourths or 5 eighths? I have a positive and negative, so I don't care what the numbers are. My positive is always greater than my negative. Oh, as far as the explanation here, it can just be that it's to the right on the number line. Okay, or it's located on the, to the right on the number line. Um, here, 5, four, five eighths is greater because it's a positive value. Now, if I need to decide which one is further from zero, I don't care whether it's further to the right or to the left, it's which one has me moving further away. I have a couple of ways I can do this. One, I can get common denominators, or two, I can find the decimal value of them. If you're not so good at uh, common denominators to make equivalent fractions, this would be good practice. So if I have negative 3 fourths and 5 eighths, the first number 4 and 8 both become is an 8. So I'm going to multiply the first fraction by 2 to get an 8 on the bottom and then find out well how many numerator values do I have. 3 times 2 is 6. So if I have negative 6 eighths versus 5 eighths, 5 marks away from 0 versus 6 marks away from the 0. This is further because it's one more mark. So the 3 quarters, negative 3 quarters, is further away from 0 because it is a greater fraction value. It's a greater fraction, meaning it's further away. The other thing we could have done is we could have converted these into decimals. If I took 3 and divide it by 4, it's 0.75. So the decimal value of 3 fourths would have been 0.75, and if I took 5 and divided it by 8, I get 0.625. Well, my 0.75 was negative, but it was larger, so that means it was further away from the zero value. So you have two ways. If you're trying to find and compare fractions, you can either make them get equivalent denominators, and then compare the numerators or find their decimal value and compare those. The last question says, is the number that is farther away from zero always the greater number? Well, let's go back to our number line to decide that. If I have a 2, uh, actually that's a 3, and say I have a negative 9. Negative 9 is a larger digit, and it's further away from 0. But when I compare these two values, is negative 9 greater than 3? No. 3 is positive. Positive is always more. So I can't say that the number furthest away from 0 is the greatest. It's only if that number is located to the right of 0. This question didn't specify that. It could have been to the left. And as you move left on the number line, the values are less and less. They get worth less and less. So we cannot say that it's always greater.